everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Uh, we are rejoining our uh, horribly named uh, Mercury Orbiter. That is, it's uh, about to make a correction burn to give it its, uh, uh, what's this, our third flyby of Mercury for this spacecraft. Uh, it's just a uh, 630.4 meter per second burn. Uh, we got about the 2100 or so left in our transfer stage, and then, of course, we have all the fuel up here in the probe itself, which could make for many, many more flybys. You, you know, you never know. Uh, I don't know how long this burn is going to take. Um, thrust to weight ratio is uh, considering the solar gravity, so it's not... I don't know. I don't think it's going to give us a very good number. So we're about four minutes out. I'm just going to go ahead and light the engine and see what happens. Yeah, 30 seconds is how long this burn is going to take. 30 seconds. Yeah, we do have unlimited ignitions on that engine, so that is obviously not a problem. So, and we'll just, uh, we'll go ahead and shut down. Time warp just a little bit closer to the node. We've got about another 16 seconds or so left to go on it. But this is just a very quick, uh, a very quick stopover at this particular, uh, mission. Yeah, uh... Kerbal alarm clock is going to uh, give me a warning about this here in just about a second. There it is. Delete on close. Close alarm. Thank you. And we'll continue our time warping. Oh, that was too much. Too much. Now we're 40 seconds past it. Dang it. I, yeah. <laughs> Be good at one thing. My one thing is not time warping or docking for that matter. All right, let's uh, let's hope we can still clean up some of this. 4.8 meters per second. Let's just uh, see if we can't round this off with uh, RCS. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. Just chase the node. Chase it around. We'll just fire all the thrusters in all the directions. How about that? Uh, a meter per second or so at this kind of distance does make a a lot of impact. So I'm trying, I know despite my laissez-faire time warping, trying to do as close to this node as I can. Alright, point one. Let's, uh, let's kill this and see what that bought us. Uh, is that our actual telemetry? Oh, fantastic. That is our uh, flyby. Uh, we've gone over the top and we've gone under the bottom. This time we're going to be going along the side. We'll probably make a correction much, much later to uh, not slam into Mercury. I don't imagine more than a meter per or second or so. Yeah, 120. We're gonna we're gonna try to go lower, but that's just to give us an idea and give us uh, something to uh, set up the alarm. So maneuver nodes in 92 days. Add alarm. Fantastic. We'll take a quick save here before we jump out to our uh, next big event, which is the uh, Saturn Telescope Observational Probe. I think stop one is eight days away from making its. Uh, transfer into Saturn's SOI. And here is the little bugger. Oh man, it has been many years since we uh, last caught up with this mission. Um, oh man, so much Delta V still left in this thing. We're going to get a very nice tight orbit around Saturn with this. This one should be... Um, <laughs> can't decide whether or not it's going to hit something as massive as Saturn. That is fantastic. So we're just going to up the time warp. And even in time warp, it still can't decide. Focus view. Whoa. Okay, we're not quite coming in uh, as polar as we'd like, so we're going to use some of this... Uh, oh, come on. That is really annoying. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait until we're actually there. But we've got Delta V to spare. So we're uh, we're, we're going to use it. 
So nothing else going on this week. So we'll just go ahead and time warp on in. A little faster. It should kick us out of time warp about a minute beforehand, so I'm just going to be not concerned with that. But I love how something as massive as Saturn, it could be even a little bit confused on uh, whether or not we're going to have this encounter or not. That just seems a little trivial. Alright, here we go. Delete on close. we got one more minute to kill. Okay, so what's going on here, guys? This is our first look at Saturn. Okay, we're not quite to the encounter yet. That's a day. Really? A day? Ah, it has decided. It, it has not decided. Time Warp, however, has decided. All right, add maneuver. Let's see how polar we can get this encounter. Focus view. I, I would like to come in as polar as I can, really. Just to uh, see if we can't get all of the biomes. And maybe put ourselves within Saturn's rings. Yeah, that would be uh, within Saturn itself. Okay. That looks pretty good. Well, not quite over the poles. We need to make sure we hit that. Okay, come on. Eleven million. That takes us right within that first ring there. Okay, that's too much, too much, too much. Bang. What's that telling us? 1 million. 1 1.5. We should probably be a little more cautious than that. 3. 3 million looks good. We'll take that chance. Although we really could bring it back that way a little bit and then up. Uh, okay. That looks good. 1 million. Almost. We'll just try... Come on. If you could leave that up for me. Thank you. No, we're not. Whatever. Uh, okay. You know what? I think I'm just going to be okay with that. And then we'll set the node here to get ourselves into orbit. A very, very, very close orbit if we could. You know what? Maybe we'll start outside of the rings and then make a, another burn later to bring ourselves back within them just for the uh, the photography's sake all right one day until our first node let's refocus our view here and I guess we should now oh, we're in time warp let's let's go ahead and just finish this warping it's only 405 meters per second. I think we've got that in spades, and then we've got 902 meters per second on the back of our solid. So I'm actually just going to carry this all the way to the node, just in case. 50 some odd minutes to go. Oh, we're about to fly past it. All right, seven minutes. I really hope I localized all the fuel. I did, and it's not locked. That's interesting. Oh, node's below us. Of course it is. Of course it is. We can put Kerbal Alarm Clock away. Come on. Let's not be difficult here. Right, and we'll start to just ullage in the engine. I don't think this bird is going to take uh, six minutes. I would actually be quite shocked. Why does it feel like we are off balance? 
all of these tanks should be empty. All of our fuel should be consolidated. It is. Maybe it's just the probe itself is off balance. That's interesting. Oh, we only have... This is a... Yeah. <laughs> we launched this mission so long ago, we don't even have the AJ-10 with unlimited ignitions. We have two ignitions remaining on this thing. Which means whatever we don't spend here, we should really spend... Uh, Circularizing our orbit. I guess we'll just go straight for whatever we need to do. I did not realize that. That is very interesting. All right, well then, let's just uh, fire it up, shall we? Yeah, this burn will take 36 seconds, it says. So I'm going to switch out to map view here. Oh, boy. And we'll probably just kill it early. Man, I'm so used to infinite ignitions on these AJ-10s, I didn't even consider that as a possibility. Oh, boy. Alright. Coming up on shutdown. And... Shutdown. I was kind of eyeballing it, so I'm pretty sure I got that wrong. Oh, boy. Our other node there was moving along quite quickly. Saturn, focus, thank you. What's our periapsis? Okay, a couple mil. Looking good. Let me just lock the tanks for a second here. So we can do this with some accuracy. Add maneuver. Perfect. The fact that that will take so much delta V is uh, a good sign for us. Wow. 6.7 kilometers per second. How much would it take to actually circularize? Wow. 10 kilometers per second to bring our orbit down to that. We certainly do not have that, but I think we're... I will have no problem expending everything that we do have, being this solid motor, which is almost a kilometer per second. What do we have left here? 800. And who the hell told you you could move? That's neat. So, with uh, our available fuels, we should be able to get some stuff done, but we're going to uh, radio in some science. This is our first uh, time at Saturn. This is... It's really cool. I mean, we got 90 days until our node, so we're probably going to have to put that on Kerbal Alarm Clock, because uh, our other Saturn mission arrives in 80 days. Add alarm. Goodbye. All right, and one hour, or 1.19 hour, until our radio in command cycles its way back. This should be really cool. I don't think we even really have a very good view, do we? There it is. Over there somewhere. You can kind of see stuff that's happening. Alright, what's what's going on? Oh, we still got three minutes, so I don't know what that bumping us out of time warp was all about, but alright. Really? We had something here before? What did we have that came here before? Maybe it was just a flyby? Or maybe... I don't understand. I'm pretty sure this is our first thing to arrive at Saturn ever. That's very interesting. All right, orbital telescope will net us 48 science. We'll just make sure that gets logged. Radio plasma wave gives us nothing. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go back through the logs and see what the hell beat us here. Because it seems like all of these experiments have been run before. Oh, we did have that flyby. That wasn't going to go into orbit. It was just a flyby. And we collected high Saturn science. That's right. That's a, this is not our first foray here. Oh, man. That was like 200 episodes ago. I guess almost literally. Wow. <laughs> 
Well, in uh, 90 days, we will have a much, much better view of what is uh, going on here at Saturn, and we will also have a chance to collect some low Saturn science, which is even better and possibly even more lucrative. And world's first. Oh, escape the gravitational influence of Deimos. Uh, yeah, that was last episode, but good for me. And, oh, the new Artemis 3M2 is complete. We're just going to mothball it until our next Mars window, but it's good to know that the ship is ready to go. The edit... What? Oh, we, we moved. <laughs> I thought the sun disappeared. I got, uh, I got a little freaked out there. No big deal. No big deal at all. All right, well, uh, I know this has been fairly quick and not very productive. Well, very productive from my angle, but not a whole lot of eye candy, I guess, is what, what's going on here. But um, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Thank you so very much for hanging out. I do appreciate it, and I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.